Okay, so here she is, the Ninja Creamy, out of her packaging and ready. I have prepared a couple of ice creams to try. So you need to freeze them. They say 24 hours. I've done it for about 17. Can't wait any further. But uh, this one here is using the ever so popular pistachio cream and just a packet custard. This one here is using the passion fruit and honey syrup puree that I got from Costco as well um, and a few other additives. I'm going to try them first, see how they are. This here is something that's recommended that you add and it's just like a quarter of a teaspoon but what it does it helps to stabilize the ice cream and thicken it and that's not just for the creamy but also if you are making ice cream in a conventional churner. So Let's have a quick look and you'll hear it click into place. So were there any prepared substance in there that would be ready to go and you've got your controls up here so you've got normal ice cream, light ice cream and those two just have um, to do with the amount of fat and sugar in it. So some people like to use very low fat and low sugar mixes with protein shakes and almond milk and all that sort of thing. That's not BJ. BJ's up here with the fat and the cream. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use that one. Maybe later on I'll try some of the um, other ones. But I'm, these ones have um, cream or custard or something in them. There's a gelato one that you can use for fruit, which I'll be doing eventually. There's a sorbet one. Oh, actually, the sorbet one's for fruit. I'll have to look into the gelato one a little bit more. There's a smoothie bowl, which I'm really fascinated by. Milkshake, mix-ins. So if you wanted to add something after you mix it, like chocolate chips or biscuits or something like that, you use a mix-in. And then there's the re-spin. Now, I will tell you that my research has shown that you have to spin it usually at least twice. So the first result will come out all crumbly and chalky and not good. So you can either just re-spin it or add a little bit more milk or something like that and re-spin it. But my research has shown that it usually has to have at least one, at least two spins before it's the right consistency. Another thing that you need to do is either run your tubs under hot water after you take them out of the freezer just so that they're a little bit less I guess fully frozen that's a tip it's not something that's in the instructions it's just a tip from the Facebook groups or leave it out on the bench for 10-15 minutes and that's what I've done I've left mine out on the bench I might actually just give it a quick wipe with the towel okay and this one too quick wipe with the towel and another thing I'm going to warn you about I do believe it is very loud we will see the cat is is um, here in the kitchen so she'll probably take off running now, to, I'm going to take this base out. To do that, there's a button here that you press and hold down. It will unclick and go down. You take that out. Click the lid. Open the lid. And I'll take that pint jar out. And I'm going to try the pistachio one first. I don't have high hopes for these. This is the first time I've done it. And it is a learning curve. Um, and this pistachio cream, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So uh, there's no lid on there. You pop it in here. You click it in. Uh, oh, sorry. I have to put this lid on. When I was saying there's no lid, I meant jar lid. But this lid has to go on. That was almost a catastrophe. Okay. Uh, all right. Is that correct? 
correct. I don't think it is. Oh, maybe there is only the one way it goes on. Okay, well that's good. That makes it easier. Okay, that goes in. So there seems to be only one way you can put it in. That goes in, that goes up, it clicks in. Uh, we turn it on. The lights come on and we'll go ice cream. Now it will be loud. It will go up and down. I believe it takes a few minutes and we'll see. So ice cream. Okay, so there is a little um, flashing light thing that tells you how far it is through the um, thing. So let's have a look. So I press that down, that unlocks it, that comes down. The big reveal. Oh, okay, interesting. Now, I think this is probably because of the type of um, mix that I had in with that um, pistachio paste. The consistency, let's have a look. Okay, oops. That actually looks all right. It's a little bit very pasty and tough let's have a taste the texture is magnificent that tastes like a really good textured ice cream unfortunately it tastes like the pistachio cream which when I bought it and I tasted it for the first time. I thought, what the hell am I going to do with that? Um, if you like the pistachio cream, I'm sure you will love this ice cream. But the texture is amazing. Oh. The texture of that is so good. I might even grow to like the taste. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, one thing I didn't think of, in between churning you have to wash this out. Now, normally I would assume you're only going to do one ice cream at a time anyway, per day. That is really good. That is really good. 
if I like the flavour of that um, pistachio cream, mm, I can't stop eating it. I not really like the flavour of the pistachio cream. So this one, if you're interested, it was a hundred, approximately a hundred mils of pistachio cream. 200 mils of the custard that I bought in, I think it was a Paul's custard thing, 100 mils of milk, and a quarter of a teaspoon of that guar gum. And that's, that's good. Now this is the one I'm most excited about because I love passion fruit. I can't walk past passion fruit. And when I saw this in Costco, I walked past it because I read, the first thing I read was tea. And I thought, no, nah, tea comes as a Dilmar tea bag with milk and sugar. Uh, but then I read further later, when, after I bought this, uh, I thought, what can I put in here? It says beverage based salad dressing and more. And I thought, you know, this might be good for ice cream. This tastes amazing. I haven't tasted the ice cream yet, but this, I had to separate um, the pulp from the juice because the juice, the pulp is so thick that you can't even um, pour the juice out through the thing, um, through the pulp. It just won't pour through. So I've separated it. And I've made an ice cream out of it. Okay. See, it flashes and it turns off, so I'm ready to go. I click here, unlock. Pull. I'm really excited about this one because that passion fruit stuff is amazing. Okay. Now, this one did turn out just a little bit chalky. And crumbly so I'm going to put the lid back on I might put a tiny bit of juice in you can put milk or whatever in but I'll put a tiny bit of juice oh no I won't because there's too many seeds in. I, I strain the juice too because I didn't want seeds through this and smash up in tiny pieces so I'll pop this lid back on that went on straight away that time I'm getting used to it pop that in bring that up and this time we hit re-spin. And that's it. I can see as it's going here, it looks better already. Okay. Very excited for this one. It won't be the same texture as the other one because the other one had that thick um, pistachio cream in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. That's, oh. Oh. <laughs> the flavour on this is just amazing. It's a little bit icier. And that's because that, um other thing that I used was full of um, that pistachio paste is very thick and fatty where this one mmm oh my god that's good this one was um, uh, 100 mils of the juice of the um, passion fruit mmm um, I think 140 mils of milk. So what I did in the quick start instructions, it gave how much milk. I just swapped down 100 mils of that milk for the juice of that. And then um, uh, one tablespoon of cream cheese, some ordinary cream, and the guar gum that is delicious oh my god that's so good 
Oh, I'm going to have myself some ice cream. Ciao.